Hey guys, welcome back to another What I Eat Wednesday. So today what I wanted to do is show you a quick way that I make almond milk when I either do not have store-bought almond milk or if I do not want to squeeze um, nut milk out because that's kind of a process. So what I do is, this is just a quick like one minute recipe, is I take one or two dates depending on how sweet you want it. So for this purpose, I will do just one date. Yesterday I did three dates and that was like really sweet. And then I have a little bit of almonds here and then a one cup of water. So I'm just going to mix this up and it's going to be perfect for my breakfast oatmeal. So I have my almond milk mixed now. All I'm going to do is add my oats into the pots as well as the almond milk that I just made. As well as my cinnamon. I'm going to mix those things up. I'm going to let it heat up a little bit for a couple minutes, like five to seven minutes on a slow setting, and that is going to be my oatmeal for today. Welcome back for lunch. Today for lunch what I'm making is pad thai. I've never made such but you know I'm trying to be creative here. Um, so I'm going to show you what I have all cut up and diced up here. I have already two pots and a, well one pot and two pans going on the oven ready. So first things first I have two ramen noodles and the ramen noodles that I use are these ones right here. They're made out of millet and brown rice. So I'm going to take these right now and put it in the pot. They require about 10 minutes for them to be ready. And then I'm going to move into my veggies here. I have some celery, which I'm going to go ahead and dump into my pan. And then I also have a red cabbage here, so I'm going to dump that in here as well. That is going to take a little bit longer than the rest of the veggies. So I'm going to let that simmer for a little bit. Whoa! And that is the oil from some of the water that I just got from the cabbage. Alright, and so I'm going to let that simmer. I'm going to let that boil. I'm going to take my tofu right now and put it on this pan right here except I think it's going to go a little bit crazy because it's been getting hot for a couple minutes. So let's gently put this in. stir this up and I am going to add some turmeric to give it a little taste as well as some color to the tofu. Mix it up once again and then continue to let it cook. Alright so my red cabbage and celery look pretty good except I'm going to add some water. I'm also going to add these carrots in, my green beans, and then mix this all up as the best I can. And then let it cook for another couple minutes. So for the pad thai sauce, 
What we're going to add is some almond butter. Then we are going to add some maple syrup. Coconut aminos. And then we are going to squeeze a half of a lime for the acid acidity of the sauce. Can't even pronounce some words. It's cool. And then we're going to go ahead and mix that all up to a good consistency. All right, now this is a pretty good consistency. And then we are going to add a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes to add a little bit of fire to the sauce. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and pour this over the veggies. So our noodles tofu are done. The veggies are done. I'm just going to add this sauce now in here. This is what's going to bring all the flavors together. Mix this bad boy up and we are done. Gonna put this on a plate and lunch is served. cabbage my dogs think it's a bowl so a bowl a ball so I'm going to put it down but today what we're making for dinner is stuffed cabbage rolls so I have already pre-cooked the cabbage and then I cooked it for about 20 to 30 minutes to kind of let it loosen up so then I could pull the leaves apart one by one without getting them ripped and this these leaves right here are what we're going to be using as like our taco shells to stuff all our ingredients inside, roll it up, and yeah, that's our stuffed cabbage for today. I also already pre-made some sauteed onions, some mushrooms, and then I pre-cooked some rice and red lentils. I'm going to take those four ingredients, put it in a bowl, mix it up, and then that's going to be what's going to be going inside the cabbage. So let's get to it. So I also have some of the Satan in the fridge, which I have to use up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop it up really small and add it into my rice mixture for the cabbage rolls. And it's going to add a little bit of extra flavor. video I hope you guys enjoy this stuffed cabbage as much as I will um, but if you guys want the recipe I will definitely put it in the description so make sure you check that out 
And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so I know you did. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mmm.